Hello, hello. I'm just trying to make sure that everyone has the link. How you doing? Uh oh, that's the wrong link. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Did you get everything you needed? Did you get like your replays and stuff? I am going to. I'm going to share my desktop. But I'm going to close out all these other softwares so they won't be popping up on my screen. Um, can you guys, can you guys see? Uh oh, can you see? Yes, I see it. You see week one, week two? Week one, week two, week three, yes. Perfecto, darling. All right. Um, all right. So, welcome to the Profit Blueprint. This, this is, uh, what do they call it? Um, intellectual Property of Visions Consulting. So I actually created this document based on step-by-step -step of what I do whenever I launch. And um, typically when I launch, I use a 12-week calendar. Oops, I didn't mean to make it that big, y'all. I use a 12-week calendar. You can use a Google calendar. You can use a physical calendar. I like to use my Basecamp calendar. And I actually have <laughs> Basecamp version two <laughs> simply because it has a calendar version. So for an example, I'm gonna use a, I'm gonna add a new, um, let's just say profit blueprint class. And I'm gonna make it blue because y'all know I love some blue. And then I'm gonna make these other ones disappear. And so this is in, this is in Basecamp. As you see, we manage other client stuff. Okay, so here's a perfect example, right? Um, who is this? Oh, that's a client. So here's an example of a client that's currently in week seven of their promo and um looks like their webinar is going to be the 27th and then their cart opens on the 20 cart opens on the 27th okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna take this out so that you don't you don't see that anymore and we're going to use my training calendar that i created I if i can find it here we go all right so let's just say that pick a date that we want our, our next webinar to be, right? All right, and so I'm going to say, for an example, I know I have something coming up March 3rd through the 5th. So we're doing webinar in a weekend, right? Um, mm, I can't really use that one because we sell that one now and then we teach. So let's just say, let's say I had a webinar on that day. And let's say I'm doing a challenge on that Monday. My challenge is a five-day challenge. So when I do, when I do my launch, I always start with the date of the webinar and I backdate it. Um, with that being said, the week of the challenge, and write this down because everyone always has question about this. The week of the challenge and the week of the webinar is always week nine, according to this document. Got it? It's always week nine. So I'm going to put here week nine. So whatever week that you decide you want to do a challenge, that's week nine. Now I can do week 10, week, um, week 11, week 12. Then I start going backwards. 
um, so that I can see where I am. And I literally, I still do this. And I'm gonna tell you why. Of course, I'm gonna tell you why. Week seven. And if you have an idea of when you want like your program to start, um, it would be awesome if you follow along with me, right? So if you pick a date on a calendar and you have an idea of when you want your webinar to be, or you have an idea of when you want to start enrolling people into your program, grab a calendar. Uh, I don't care if it's Google Calendar, <laughs> iCal. Um, I, I'm still old school a little bit, right? I'm still old school. I use a, a desktop, okay? So I got a desktop. Um, I'm really tedious. I'm really old, old school. I got a planner. <laughs> I um, uh, because we have so many things that we launch. Like I use a planner too, y'all. So, um, pick. You know, if you want to pick a day for your challenge, if you want to pick a day, what else did I teach y'all? Your eight webinars. Like the first webinar would be boom week nine so i'm going i'm just going to go backwards week five and look at that we we're going right into um so week four let me make sure i can oh see look i was gonna say let me make sure i can count make sure i don't double up no weeks in here so nine eight seven six five four three oh this is perfect now, don't y'all go launching the same weekend of my uh, webinar on the weekend in case y'all want to come. <laughs> All right, so last week would have been week one. So let me walk you through big picture what each week represents. And then we're going to go through and I'm going to tell you and I'm going to walk you through what I do every single week. So I just, I, I showed you how to start your, your, your launch planning calendar. And you pick a, a, a week for the challenge. That's automatically week number nine. And then I'm gonna turn my camera off because I'm gonna stand up. Um, don't mind me. <laughs> um, so week number nine, and hopefully you guys can still hear me, but week number nine is the week of the challenge and the week of the webinar, okay? And then what we did was we went backwards and we selected a date. And boom, I went all the way back to week number one just making some maneuvers here all right so week one um you can take a screenshot of this if you want to i'll also give you a copy of it week one is planning your launch and we're going to review your revenue goals we're going to determine your core offer um a lot of times one of the things that i taught in one of um and one of the courses, I think it was the challenge course, when I talked to you about the webinar success program, I had an upsell offer. So I did a $7.97 offer, and then I did a $14.97. So that was my upsell offer. And then we're going to look at how many people need to enroll into your program in order to meet your revenue goal. All right. I actually have a goal setting uh, document that I, I give to my students. Um, I will give you the link. You make a copy of it, and you put it in your Google Drive. You cannot edit my document. Week number two is to determine the launch strategy that you want to use. Remember, I am teaching you about eight strategies, right? I'm teaching you eight strategies. You have eight different strategies that you can use to teach from for week number two. <coughs> With that being said, you want to determine the bonus offers. Don't worry about it right now. We'll talk about it in a little bit. But Whenever you do a launch, you always want to give away bonus. Bonuses create incentivized investments, all right? Week number two, we review company assets. Um, what products did you need to have um, that you can put in a stack offer? So we'll talk about that once I go deeper in detail. Um, all the sales copy for your signature offer. Um, I think I actually have a slide deck that I'll walk through and tell you what you need for week two. And then what's your comfort level with video, audio, technology? Because here's where the technology gets, you know, you start to set up different stuff. If you're gonna do a, a challenge, you need to start setting up 
you know, your Facebook groups and all that good stuff and all that fun stuff, right? All that fancy smashy. Week three, this is where you start writing copy. Uh, we have a copywriter on our team. So a lot of times I can put in a request and have sales copy created, ad copy created, um, social media copy created. Now, do not get it wrong. When I first started out, I was writing this stuff myself, okay? <laughs> I was, uh, I didn't have the luxury of handing it off and requesting it from somebody. I was writing this stuff from scratch. Um, I will share with you that if you open up a blank Google Doc, um, sometimes I use this as well. So if you open up a blank Google Doc, uh, let's go to new Google Doc. There is a feature in Google Doc that lets you speak voice typing. If you click to speak, it will now actually type as you talk. I oftentimes use this when I don't want to write. Bingo. Don't know if you knew that. But that is a quick way for you to start writing your content for your sales page and then you can go in and tweak it. All you do is a blank Google Doc. Let me tell you, if I can find any short, if I can find any shortcut to get this stuff done, I'm going to find it, okay? All right. Uh, week three copy content is your offer. Um, for anybody that's taken like high converting webinar course, we talk about the irresistible offer in there. Um, and then we determine the price point if you haven't established a price point, all right? So that is your planning phase. All right, now we go into pre-launch. Pre-launch is mostly promotion. It's all promotions, actually. You start to push your lead magnet. So let me just, just to turn, let me just uh, clarify this real quick. When I launch a program, I always have a free gift, a, a lead gen or something that I'm promoting while I'm working. So... Uh, your free gift could be a checklist. Um, I know some people like to use eBooks, but most people like a checklist, a template, a script or something like that now um, that they can use. I believe I have some examples of some that I'll teach you when we go, when we get to week four. But what that does is, let me explain to you what that does. When you promote a free gift, for an example, we have the webinar checklist and in week four and week five, I can be doing, I can do social media promotions. I can do Facebook lives. I could do Instagram stories. And the call to action is going to be the webinar checklist. So what that does is it automatically puts people on my email list that are interested in webinars, right? I haven't promoted the challenge yet. I haven't promoted a product yet, but I'm building a list of people who are actually interested in using um using webinars in their business right so now i have truly people that are interested in using webinars that i get to invite in about two weeks to my challenge and my master class voila all right i won't both be teaching but i wanted to make sure i get that out <laughs> So week number five is what we call test and tweak. And this is especially important for those that are running ads. If you decide to run ads, um, this is where you can test and tweak um, your marketing message. If your marketing message is not landing, people are not converting. All right, week number five, you start to develop the webinar content that you're gonna be teaching, your challenge content. So if you took the, if you took the course on challenges, um, I walked you through how to create the content. So you know that would be very helpful, right? And then your challenge assignments and emails. Notice that this is designed specifically from a challenge because I created this when we were doing challenges. Um, video series content. So if you wanted to do a three-part video and then you wanted to pre-record it, you would do so. Week seven is all about promotion of your challenge. So for two weeks straight, you're just promoting your challenge. Promote it, promote it, promote it. All right, here's where it starts to get fun. Week number eight, you are still promoting but now you're starting to engage with the people that register, right? Because you've been promoting for about two and a half weeks and now 
you've been, you've, you've, let's just say you got 200 people that's registered for your challenge, 200 people that's registered for the three day video series, whatever you decide to do, right? Um, now you start to formulate the Facebook group for your audience. Um, some people, when they do, when they do this type of launch, they leave everyone, um, on invite. So like, you know how you go to a Facebook group and you request access, they approve them all at once. So like week eight, they'll approve everyone and then they'll drop 200 people in a Facebook group so that you can't see them drop one, two people at a time. No, they wait and they approve them all at one time. Mm -hmm. Little secret there, I realized that. Um, then you continue to drive traffic to the group and promo. Um, week nine, remember this from the calendar? This is where you actually deliver your challenge. This is where you kick off your challenge, you kick off your video series, or you kick off your webinar, right? On the day that you host the webinar is the day that the cart opens, all right? Cart usually open about seven days. I think we talked about this in the challenge one. So your cart is usually open for uh, 10 days, I'm, I'm sorry, seven days. And then I close the cart on the seventh day. Um, during week 11, uh, and I'll talk to you a little bit about this. Let me just say we launched an upsell offer to our audience, all right? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reference the webinar success blueprint as we go through this. And then week 12, we debrief and we review what worked, what we missed, opportunities. Um, opportunities were there and what can we do better next time? All right. I know that was a lot, y'all. Woo-wee. I hope we can get through all of this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now I can, um, all right, so let me, um, so here's something that I created. Um, I'm a little bit of a slight OCD perfectionist, sorry, okay. Uh, so I created a Trello board and I created a Trello board so that I could duplicate every time we launch and we would know, like all I had to do was give my team access to this Trello board and it literally goes over the same stuff, right? So week number one, week number two, week number three, four, five, boom, 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 boom. So revenue goal, right? Um, so here's what we... Hmm. Here's what we use for our revenue goals, right? Okay. So... Um, at the bottom... My signature program is $997, all right? Um, I have an upsell for $5,997, all right? And actually, if you go to www.thewebinarsuccessblueprint.com, these two offers should be on this page. Is it 997? Boom. 997 or 5997. All right. So again, now if I wanted to do my launch, and I think we picked March, the week of March 3rd as my challenge. Um, so I would technically be in week two. All right. So technically we are in week two. So that means that I've looked at my revenue goals, right? So let's look at my revenue goals. I use this little cheat sheet right here. Typically what I do in my Trello board is I will go in here and put the link right here and save it so that the team has it. So if you click on the Trello board, boom, the Google Docs right there, all right? So when I look at this document, I say, how much money do I wanna generate, right? And I'm going to say, let's just say 20 people enroll in the program. So 20 people, and this is assuming that all 20 people are on a payment plan, y'all. This is not all 20 paid in full, and this is not realistic. So, but I did this so that we could cap calculate the math behind it. So if 20 people, 20 of them enroll, they pay $249, I would make $4 thousand nine hundred and eighty dollars every month until uh per month for four months which is a total of actually it should be um times four 
check your check your mail. So for let me see, let's check them out. Make sure because these are equations that like you operate error, right? Um, what are we saying? Uh, two forty nine. Nope, two forty nine times twenty is yep, it's four ninety eight. And then they make four payments, so nineteen thousand nine hundred and twenty. So if twenty people just signed up for my nine ninety seven program, I would make five thousand dollars a month. And I would have a a $19,000 launch. Make sense? Let's just say your goal is 10. You'd make $24,000, $2,500 a month if they were on a payment plan. And then you'd, you'd have your first 10K launch. Anybody excited? Um, no worries. Uh, the replays will be in my show for you. Um, okay. All right. So hopefully there's your first 10K launch. Sell 11, 997. <laughs> And you make 10K. Now, if you have an upsell, if your upsell is um, $5,000, so I think this is, they pay $9.97. Let's make sure. So five people times $9.97 is 49. Yep. Um, 49.85. So let me see how many months they're going to pay 997, y'all. Oh, six. So this one is that one times six. So now, now if I get five people to pay me, oh, hold on. I didn't do that right. This one is enrollment. There we go. Is it time six? Okay, now it's right. So if I get uh, five people to upsell into my like my six thousand dollar elite program, they're gonna I'm gonna be getting about five thousand dollars a month from five individuals, right? Um, and by the time they pay all of their payments in six months, that's thirty thousand dollars, y'all. That's a forty thousand dollar launch. These are numbers. I've done these numbers before. So these are realistic numbers, right? So don't, don't look at it. Don't look at these numbers and be like, oh, I can't do it. Yeah, you can. Uh, yes, you can. Okay. All right. And I mean, even if we wanted to say that, you know, what if your program was, you know, your monthly payments was like, I don't know, 197. And then these payments was like 297. Um, you're still looking at seventeen thousand dollars. You're still looking at like two grand per person, fourteen hundred for your upsell, um, a total of eight thousand plus another nine thousand. So you're still looking at about you know seventeen thousand dollars a launch. If you do that every quarter, you will make close to a hundred thousand dollars. Does that make sense? You can just type yes. We good. Does that help? So now we know how many people need to be in our program, right? So let's just say, let's say for the sake of this, we need like 15 people, 16 people, right? So what I do is I use this projection. And if I do one webinar, three webinars or five webinars, right? Um, and I'm going to have 143 people register for one webinar. Um, I use a very, very generous, um, I use a very, very generous, like show rate, which is really super low. Um, so my show rate is 28.6 when in all actuality, what did I teach y'all? Do y'all remember? Dakeisha, I, I just have just a quick question. This is Tandra. I'm, I apologize. Yes. So what? So once you've done the the first the, your signature program, uh -huh. you're upselling them to like a like a what? what? Like a one on one, uh, uh, not one on one, like a coaching program. Like because the signature course is probably like an eight week program. Okay. Does that make sense? Because I, I didn't know what the upsell would like. What, what would you be upselling them? Can you to see my screen? There? Uh huh. Um, hold on a second. 
Um, so this is the course on the left side. This is my coaching program on the right side. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. You want me to give you this link? Yeah, give me the link. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Um, so a lot, uh, and, and we did, we, we've done this in the past a lot. So we'll have like the, um, the course on this side and then the upsell would be, um, get it done coaching. So you get access to the entire course. If you join my six month mentorship program, you'll get the following boom, members only private Facebook Q and a two tickets to my get it done mastermind. It's actually April, 2022. Um, there's a, this is so like, this is crazy. Speaker promotional package. Uh, I'm like, I don't even know what that is. Oh, I know what it is. Um, there's a 90 days of 20K launch program that we taught. And then we have salespeople, copyright, and then branding experts to come in and teach. So that's what the upsell can be. And then boom, you offer the course. Does that help? Okay. Sure, okay. Right. okay. <laughs> Any other questions? Y'all good? Lucia, are you good? I have one quick question. So when you have the value, when you when you put that together and you yeah, have yeah. the values there, like how, how do you determine have that? Have a great night. You too. Do you determine that by the, I mean, like how you do your numbers by the hours that you 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 would have spent? To, I'm, I, I'm just curious, like how do you determine what the value is? Um. So... For an example, if I look at something like um, access to our members only area, right? Um, I could sell my members only area for $19.97 or $97 a month, right? So I calculate that times 12. Private Facebook group. Okay, well, how long is the Keisha going to be in the private Facebook group, right? Maybe once a week. So I kind of look at that as a private, like access to maybe once a week, you know, an, not even an hour a day or something like that. So it's kind of equivalent to a signature program like that could cost $9.97. Support calls, um, like the Q&A calls. Um, that to me is, I mean, an hour of my time, maybe 30 minutes out of a week, right? Or maybe it, it, it could be, um, well, actually, because this is the course. So it's only for eight weeks. It's not even a whole year long, right? Um, and then the bonus, I look at this, I could sell this course by itself for $797. Same thing with okay. the bonus. So typical courses cost anywhere from $497 to $997. So I look at what could I sell this for? What is it valued at? If I sold oh, okay. it by itself, what could I sell it for? And people will actually pay for it. Okay. okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm, that makes sense. All right, cool. I, I have um, a question. Yes. Okay. So when you first started out, is this something that we have to put value to in order to, to put something out or? I would recommend, even if you don't have this much in your program, um, even if you have like four items, I still would put value to it. And if you are, if you do have, Lucille, you're in high converted webinars. So if you look at the most recent PowerPoint, that most recent PowerPoint is going to tell you to put values on your PowerPoint. Okay. All right. So now we know, um, now we know how many people we need in, we know how many people we need 16. So according to this, um, and I'm gonna try to explain this the best I possibly can, because this is based on how many people need to show up to your webinar in order to get like that result. And I might have to do this backwards. Um, so in order to get 16 sales, 16 sales, you guys will probably convert at 60%, at 20%, I'm sorry. So 16 sales divided by 20% is 80 people. So 16 sales, 20% conversion is 80 people. So that means you need to get in front of 80 people. 80 people need to show up to your webinar, right? So 80 people need to show up to your webinar. And if you have a show rate of 
That means 200 need to register. Does that make sense? I just did the math backwards. I'm gonna say it one more time. Yes. Perfect. So 16 people, if you close, if you need to close 16 people, I'm gonna say that I'm gonna give you a 20% closing rate. Okay, I'm gonna give you a 20% closing rate. This has nothing to do with whether it's a cold list or a warm list or a hot lead, warm leads, nothing. I'm just giving you an average. Mine is a little bit higher, but I've been doing this a little bit longer. So if you convert at 20%, that means that your message, your offer needs to touch 80 people, period. 80 people need to actually see your webinar presentation or see your presentation. That's why getting people in front of the replay is going to be so important, okay? Now, if only 40% of the people that register for your webinar show up, that means 80 people, that means 200 need to register. Does this sound familiar when I tell you to do eight webinars in 30 days or one webinar every single week and get 30 people to show up? Now you yeah. see why. Now you see why. Numbers don't lie. Got it? So now you write those yeah. numbers. Now you write those numbers down and now you have your revenue goal. So I need 200 people to register for my webinar or even come into the, you know, you might need 400 for the challenge and then 200 for the webinar. Um, I know that I need 16 sales in order to generate $17,000. And these are really low price points. So let's kick these prices back up. Because they making me feel some kind of way. All right, now we got us a 25K launch, okay? $2.97 and $4.97 a month for six months. Kind of low, but we're going to roll with it, right? But at least I got you to 25K. I got you to 25K. Can somebody say 25K? Okay, I'm sorry. Um, all right, let's keep going through this. All right, so now you have, um, okay, so Tandra asked me about the upsell offer. Now you know what you can offer as your upsell offer, right? You can offer your coaching program. Um, where is our cheat sheet? All right, so what's the upsell offer? So, um, <coughs> all right, that's your core offer. All right, so I'm gonna mute you guys, sorry. Um, all right, so that's my planning sheet. Uh, I got my planning sheet. And how many people do I need to enroll? Boom, so we finished with week one now. Right, we've answered everything for week one. Now we are ready to go into week two. When I pull up my Trello board and I look at week two. All right, so bonus offer. So here's how here's how I teach people about bonus offers. My bonus offer should solve a problem that you use as an excuse not to purchase. God, that was the best way I've ever said that. My, my bonus offer is going to solve a problem that you're going to use that is an excuse not to, um, to invest. Well, what do you mean, Dakeisha? Uh, a lot of times when you're selling from, when you are selling from a webinar, from a stage, a lot of times people, um, they have objections, right? They don't necessarily want to buy immediately. So our job is to conquer their, those objections as best as possible. Most objections are, or excuses is what I call them, are going to be time. Uh, is they're going to say, oh, well, I don't have a product or I don't have time. I, I'm um, my money commitment or they're going to find a reason, right? So... In this particular program, I told them, I said, listen, I'm going to give you a webinar execution calendar so you'll know exactly when to schedule your webinars, right? Once you've developed your entire webinar presentation. I'm also going to show you how to master your marketing message so that people will raise their hand and you will get people to register for your webinar. What does that do? that helps to decrease the objection of, well, what if nobody registers for my webinar, right? <laughs> so you have to think in advance of what are some possible things that your client or your ideal client is gonna tell you as to why they can't invest. 
Um, so one of the things that I do when I teach like um, webinars or, you know, enrolling, enrolling clients into your signature program, one of the things that I do is I've got a quick way to create a, pro, a signature course in 30 days. I oftentimes give it as a bonus. Why? Now you ain't got no excuse to tell me that you don't have no course because I, I have a bonus. I'm going to show you how to create a course in 30 days. Well, God, dog, Keisha. Okay, what's next, right? Because they're looking for they're looking for a reason for it not to work instead of looking for a reason for it to work. So it's our job to help them find ways for it to work. So a lot of times I'll do a, a one-off training or a one-off masterclass or I'll train in a Facebook group on some very content specific, right? I might do a training on 12 things that you can do to create and build your tribe. Like I might teach that in my Facebook group. Do you realize that's a pure training that you could sell? You would sell it. I could literally make that a bonus. So what I'm telling you is think about some of the training that you're conducting as a one-off training um, on Clubhouse in your Facebook groups. And you got these videos in Facebook groups and it's good content. Download that stuff, put it in the membership portal and offer it as a bonus, especially if it solves a problem for your ideal client. Boom, that's how you find your bonus, all right? And then the company assets. Company assets are um, your landing page. Your company asset are, uh, let me see, I think it's in here somewhere. It might not be in here. Yeah, it is. So your um, so some of the resources that you'll need for a launch is a landing page. These are just a couple of the pages or platforms that we use or recommend to build pages in. Um, I use ClickFunnels for all my pages. Um, some people use like Active Campaign, ConvertKit, Kajabi, WordPress, or Divi. Uh, my my way my main website is on WordPress, and oh, we. Some people use lead pages, right? Um, what else do you need? You need an email marketing system. I think most of you guys probably have Infusionsoft or now known as Keep, Active Campaign, Entreport, Aweber, Get Response. These are things that you're going to need in order to get people to register for your challenge. Um, your webinar platform. Of course, my number one choice is Easy Webinar. Um, some people use Zoom Webinar. Um, and these are some other choices, but don't look at those. I'm sorry. I shouldn't say that in my training. <laughs> uh, you need a way to accept payments. You can do Stripe, Stripe PayPal, Infusionsoft, Start. Another one is, um, I don't know if y'all heard of PayFunnels. Um, I have them, but I think it's PayFunnels and they take payments too. But those are some of the assets that you're going to need as well when you are doing your launch. Let me find my little cheat sheet. Um, All right, so let me see. Bonus offer, company assets. Um, what else is company assets? Like the technology? Uh, are you gonna be using, you know, what are you gonna use for your challenge? Are you gonna, are you gonna go live in your Facebook group? Well, you gotta make sure you got a camera, you gotta make sure you got lights. Um, if you don't have a ring light, I got a big, I don't even know what that thing is called, y'all, but it's super big. Like I don't, I don't even know how to measure it, but it's big. Um, but I use it sometimes, um, like right now in here, there's a lot of light from the dining room that I don't need it. I have a Logitech C920. Y'all don't necessarily have to write this down because you don't have the recording. Um, I got a Hydra Quest or something, Mike. I don't even know what this thing is, but I love it, right? Um, so make sure you sounds good, you look good. And actually, y'all, this is the, the, this is the camera on my iMac. I have an iMac. Um, that's the only reason why that look, looks like that because of that, man. Um, all right. And, um, so sales, it says sales copy, but sales copy is supposed to be in, in week three. Um, but what you can do is start writing a sales copy for your signature offer and the email sequences, like the sales sequences and stuff like that. Um, even though we do week three, we start to do all of our copy and then, um, determining your comfort level is going to determine which one of the launch strategies that you're going to use. Right. So you got the challenge, the, um, the summit, 
the eight webinars. Um, you got the workshop, you got the live event, like you have eight different um, strategies that you can use to get people excited about your upcoming offer. So once you decide which one you're going to use, boom, you, um, hold on, we on week two, week two, week two, right? Yes. All right. Week two. All right. So once you decide, boom, you, you map out the plan. I'm sorry. I'm clicking everything. Map out the plan. We usually update stuff here in uh, Basecamp and or Trello. Um, bonus offer. You can add images. Um, I highly recommend you get a project management system. All right. I don't even care if it's you by yourself. Get you a project management system. So for an example, I use Basecamp as my project management system. I'll show you high converting. So high converting webinar course. As you can see, like some of the content is in here. Um, worksheets, like some of you guys that's in this course, y'all can see that like I use Basecamp. I got images in here. I got PowerPoints in here. I got worksheets in here. Like this is all Basecamp. I think I paid like $50. So my modules are in here. Every project that we have and client projects are in here. Um, uh, the summit, this was a summit that we did, right? Um, I'm teaching you a summit in one of these classes. So here's the images that everybody, so we gave every one of these images on Clubhouse. I think mine, I'm still using mine, but promotional images, like the client images. So this is my summit one. So again, I'm not teaching you anything that I'm not doing from, I don't do myself. Uh, I'm going to be teaching you the podcast. Here's my podcast folder, you know, in Basecamp. So everyone on my team has access to it. So this is where you can dump all of your assets. Um, this is the founder summit that's coming up February 25th, 2022. Um, we just created a background for everybody's Zoom background, right? So I'm managing like multiple projects at one time. I know I'm crazy. But this is the project management system that we use. Um, you can actually put a to-do list in here if you wanted to, like, um, one of my old ones, I actually have them. Um, uh, it might be this one. Nope. One of my old projects, because I've been using this for a while. I probably probably have um, um, what I want to say, archived it. I was trying to see if anyone has a template in here. Maybe not. Sorry, I tried it. I was going to try to show you a template, but no, not in there. Um, but I highly recommend using a um, tool to manage all of these moving pieces because these are a lot of moving pieces. And I know one of my coaching students was like, how do you do this? yourself oh my god i'm overwhelmed <laughs> um so th that's why a project management tool helps you manage all of this stuff um and then that way you'll know so right now we use smart tasks which i paid a one-time fee for from app um might have been like 49 dollars and this is my project management tool so i'll show you this real quick and I know we're going to go over. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, but like I have templates. So here is product launch. There should be a template in here. Product launch clients. Inter templates. All right. And so all of these. Hmm, so these are actually summit templates, but what we did was we created a template in our project management system and we did them by phases instead of, instead of like week one, week two, but you can do the same thing, but see how it's broken out into the overview phases. And then you got phase one or week one, week two, week three, week four, week five. So all we have to do is copy like this template, duplicate the project and boom, everything that's set up in here is already set up in our project management tool. Does that make sense? Okay. 
I have to make sure that I'm explaining it where it's understandable. Because it's a lot. I know it's a lot. And take your time and dissect this information and go through it again because I know it's a lot. All right. So week three, Lord, are we only on week three? Um, let me go back to week three over here. So sales copy for the irresistible offers. If you're not writing your sales copy, if you have somebody, so this is your sales page. This is my sales page. If you look at my sales page, there's a, a promise at the top. The, the, who is the program for? Um, what is the program about? Here's my positioning questions and a join now button. I validate my vehicle, right? I validate my vehicle. Webinars are the most effective method to build your list. I validate the vehicle. Then I share a picture of me, my story, boom, testimonial. Who is this for? Why did I create it? Um, one program will change your life. And then boom, testimonial. I just walk you through how to write a signature program. Like I just walked you through the um, process. Boom. And then there's a visual of the program, y'all. Listen, if you ain't get nothing else from the day, go back and listen to exactly what I said on this page and look at how I wrote this page. One of my coaches actually helped me develop all of this copy for the page and how I broke this page down. This is one of the best sales pages that I've written thus far in my business. That's it. Okay, moving on. <laughs> um, I'm telling you. So add copy. So once you, here's the thing about it. Here's a secret to the copy piece. Once you have the sales page, you can create ad copy from your sales page. It's no need to kind of duplicate the process. All you can do, all you have to do is create ad copy. Um, and you can use some of, you can use some of the content from your sales copy page. Um, and ad copy is nothing more than using the formula uh, attention, attention, interest, desire, and action. And I don't know where I taught this at, um, but I know I taught it. Um, it might have been in the class. But anyway, you want the you want the first statement to grab their attention, the next statement to tweak their interests, like get their interests, right? Um, create the desire. Why do they want? Why do they want to participate in your challenge? Create the desire, and then take action. What's the call to action? That's literally the formula for writing really good ad copy. Um, the other thing that you're going to start to do is determine your offer. So if you do not have a signature program, this is where you start to create the program and start thinking about what it is that you want to sell. Hopefully you already have something in mind. You just need to start formulate, formulating the content, start recording the content because you don't want to create a launch and you don't know what you're selling in the end. So I'm praying that you already know what you want to sell in the end. You probably just need to record some of the training or something like that. Then if you don't know how much you want to sell it for, determine your price point. For me, for courses, um, I usually charge anywhere from, um, I got a course I sold for two, well, no, $3.97. Yeah, $3.97. So, I mean, now it's for $5.97, but I got a course from $5.97. We're going to launch, um, we're going to launch all 12 of these courses and probably sell it for $19.97. Um, so we're going to sell courses from $5.97 to, to $19.97. Um, but when I first started out, I sold my course for up to $9.97. $7.97 or $9.97. It's a, it's a super sweet spot for a six-week or eight-week program. All right? I'm going to tell you that straight up. All right. So week number four begins the promotion. So I did have a slide on how you can promote your presentation. Um, so promoting your launch, you can do organic traffic, you can do paid traffic, okay? Organic traffic are blogs, Facebook Live, podcasts, articles, Clubhouse, fa uh, Facebook groups, and outreach. Outreach means that you're, you're literally reaching out to people in their DMs on Instagram, on LinkedIn, um, on Clubhouse in the back channel. So that's your organic traffic where you are like I've written a blog post on um, four ways to a profitable product launch. And then I invite them to do, do you know, the webinar checklist or something like that. If I do a Facebook live on the four, four, four phases of a profitable product launch, I'm going to have the call to action, join my private Facebook group or, go, or get access to the webinar checklist. 
So there's always a call to action. Um, if you wanted to do paid traffic, you could do YouTube ads, Instagram ads, Google ads, Pinterest ads, LinkedIn ads are super expensive. Oh, I don't even have, oh, Facebook ads. I was going to say, I don't even have Facebook ads. So those are some of the strategies that we use to start uh, promo, promo period. Um, now for week four and week five, I will push my lead magnet. So this gives me time to start tweaking stuff, right? So, but people are still seeing me push content out so that I'm still staying relevant. So whatever lead gen or whatever free gift or free offer that you have, start to do Facebook Live, start to do Clubhouse, start to do IG posts, um, start to connect with people, you know, on the different platforms and your call to action is always going to be, um, you could do your lead magnet. I'm going to grab some water. Uh -oh. everywhere okay <laughs> all right so um and then all right so week four you can actually set up your promo to go out um, like using a system called Buffer. We use Buffer. Some people use Hootsuite or whatever. But um, so we set that, like we set up like our social media go out strategically over the week. One of the things that I do now is I take Monday as a content day, right? I take Monday as a content day and I try to do all my content so I don't have to worry about it for the rest of the, rest of the week. So I use StreamYard. I have the $49 version of StreamYard. It allows me to go live in three places at one time. So I will go live on my Facebook page and my Facebook group and my business page. All I do is take that same pre-recorded video and restream it to LinkedIn, YouTube, and another Facebook group. Um, Cause it only allows you to do three at a time. And um, right now that's all I need. So it works. Um, and then I will take an extra phone because I got two phones sitting around here, right? And when I'm live, I will take the extra phone. I will actually sit it up here, right here. And I will go live on Instagram so that I have my IGTV as well. Um, and that's the only one that doesn't, that's the only one that doesn't simultaneously um, work with StreamYard. All right. So that's my content day. And then I, my team will, re, will repurpose some of that content, make blog posts, make um, uh, social media images and promote that topic for the week, all right? Um, if you notice that people are not engaging with the content or your Facebook ad that you're running may need some tweaking, week five is where you continue to promote your lead magnet, your free gift. Um, cause you're still about a month out, like for real, for real, you're about a month out. So let's look at the calendar. So in week four, right. I'm not doing my webinar until February 28th until, um, challenge. And then March, what is that? March 4th. Yeah. So that's week nine. So week four, you're talking about promo lead magnet. So this is what I do. Promo lead magnet, right? Um, class. Oh, I was like, what is this blue stuff? All right. So promo lead magnet, right? So that's week four, week five, promo lead magnet. And this is base camp and then add event, right? So that's what I'm doing for the whole two weeks. Um, if you want to, you know, on your system, um, what is this? January, oh, 5th. And if you want to, you can, oh, sorry. Whatever calendar that you use, you can actually, like make the whole week promo so that you know, like, okay, I'm supposed to promo the whole week. Um, even if you use like Google calendar, like put it on your calendar. So, you know, your team know, all right, I'm supposed to promo. 
And if you want to really do, you know, you want to really do promo on Facebook, you can do promo on IG, you know, like get, get really specific what works for you. Um, all right. So now where are we going? All right. So now week six, by this time, you should have your ad copy. You should have your social media copy because you did that in week three. You did that three weeks ago, right? So now what I do is I create a content calendar and I go live every day. I just probably drive some people crazy, but I literally in week six, I, I go live every single day. I come up with, um, and I don't go live on the weekends because um, during the weekends are uh, time for my family time. Uh, my kids are very active. But um, one of the one of the best ways to tell when I'm in the middle of a launch is by seeing me uh, being more visible online. Like I'm live every day. I'm in Clubhouse two, three times out of week. I'm trying my best to get in front of more people. I got speaking multiple speaking gigs um, because I've aligned them. Especially when you plan your launch in advance and you find speaking gigs with your launches, man, that is like absolutely golden. So we're going to say now you're going to promo your challenge or you're going to promo the webinar, right? And you're going to do this um, all week long. So that's all you're going to be talking about um, in week six and week seven, okay? We bringing it on home. So promo challenge and webinar. Um, we're going to do this all week long, right? And that is week seven. Hold on, week seven. Oh, all right, so week six and week seven. So week eight, um, you start to, I do pre-assignments. So like this is it's still a part of pre-launch. So um, in, for example, when I taught the challenge course, I showed you guys how to give them like a pre-assignment and stuff like that. So if you have um, some activities that you would like to give them, so like, um, Oh my God. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Allow attendees in Facebook group, right? So you might do your welcome posts in your Facebook group. What basically what you're doing is engaging with the audience this week. Welcome. Welcome posts in Facebook group. That's if you're doing a challenge. Um, if you got if you have like a bigger Facebook group. Um, and you're driving all your traffic to your, you know, your normal Facebook group. You can do a welcome post. You could do, um, we do accountability partner posts. So grab yourself an accountability partner. Post who your accountability partner is. Um, you might do a welcome live in the group, but what you're doing is you're getting people excited. Run a contest. Um, these are things that you could do, you know, to keep people excited, keep people engaged before the challenge actually starts or before your, your launch strategy actually starts the next week. Um, and then fine tune all your like email sequences, make sure all your links works and all that kind of stuff. Um, um, setting up like your Zoom, if you're doing a Zoom training, um, if you're doing an easy webinar training, make sure that that's what set up so that all your, um, all your email links, you know, are set up and sorry, my allergies or sinuses is that's away. Um, I apologize. Um, oh, if you set up like an easy webinar, making sure that, um, easy webinar links are set up or, you know, your Zoom links or whatever platform you want to use, making sure that you put them in the right emails and things like that. So you won't be at the last minute trying to make sure that once you got this challenge, like you want to make sure that you go through all the emails, day one, day two, or if you're doing a video series, video one, video two, video three, whatever that thing may be, if you're just doing a, a regular a, a regular webinar, like if you're just doing a webinar that Thursday, you want to make sure that the promo emails have the um the promo emails have the right webinar reg registration link, and you want to make sure that the confirmation email is going out 
I'm telling you, like, you don't know this stuff until you start testing. So you test all of that stuff and make sure all those links work in week eight. That is the least of it. Um, and you continue to promote, you continue to go live, you continue to, if you want to run an ad and drive traffic to that Facebook group. Um, but these are the things that need to be done behind the scenes to make sure that next week, week nine goes off without a hitch. Now, I'd be lying if I tell you, you might not, you might have a hiccup. I ain't gonna lie to you and tell you that you won't have a hiccup, but you might have one. All right, but listen, take a deep breath. Take another deep breath. All right, because it's launch time, baby. All right, so week nine is the, the week that you actually deliver your content. So regardless of which one of these launch strategies that you decide to choose, this is the week. It is what I call go time. Um, so if you if you have a challenge training, refer to how to put together a challenge. Um, if you have like a, a workshop, refer to how to host a live workshop. But this is the week that it actually all comes to life. So that Monday morning or that Thursday morning when you're hosting your workshop or your three day workshop or your challenge. Boom. This is the week the magic happens. All right. So we're going to open our cart. On the day. On, on the last day of the challenge, on the second or third day of the workshop, we're going to open, if we have a webinar, we're going to open our cart. I open my cart. Uh, I open my cart for seven days. All right. So let's, let's, let's put this on the calendar. All right. So I'm in week nine. So cart opens, right? I'm going to put this on here for seven days, okay? Seven days. So my cart opens on seven days. So let me tell you something. Um, so you want to send an email. Cart close. We actually send out about two or three emails on cart closing. So you can send out a, you can send out um, 24 hour, no four hours, one hour, and then cart closes today. So that goes out like 9 a.m. in the morning, right? So that's three emails that go out that one day. Um, then the day before, cart closes in 24 hours. This is where your sense of urgency that people don't teach you. Cart closes in 48 hours. Cart closes in 72 two hours, right? Sense of urgency, my friends, sense of urgency. So here's a secret that we do or strategy that we use on, on, on when the cart closes in 72 hours, right? So if I have a 997 program, um, depending on how I'm feeling, uh, I might do a special pricing email. So for those of you all that missed the early bird, you could do 12 payments of $97. Now, honestly, I get a few, I don't get a lot, but that's close to a thousand dollars. Might be on that, my math hole. One moment, please. That's $1,100, right? Um, take a screenshot of this if you want to, right? So when the cart opens, you want a cart open bonus. So that is the bonus for those of you all that buy today, you'll get this particular bonus, right? It expires tomorrow. Um, so we do that too. And it increases um, our closing rate on the cart open day. So these are the most important elements of week nine and week 10. And um, just so you know, that week 10 is all about follow-up. Follow up with the people that participated in your workshop. Follow up with the people that participated in the webinar, that participated in a challenge. Remember that follow-up, um, you're gonna close about eight to 10% from your webinar, but you're gonna pick up another 10 to 20% when you follow up correctly, all right? Follow up, follow up, follow up. Get in a DMs, send them emails, send them text messages. <laughs> Um, pick up the phone and call them. Like I have people on my um, team 
that will actually call everyone that participated in my webinar. Some of y'all might have got a text message or a call today. <laughs> um, but that's just how we do, right? All right. And so that's what that's my only concentration is getting people enrolled in week 10. That is it. My only concentration is getting people enrolled in week 10. Um, once we close the cart, right? There are some people that are going to want to work with you. I would continue into week 11 because um, this is where sales calls for higher level offer. So imagine if you had someone and pay, pay attention to this. Imagine if you had someone pay in full, right? If someone paid in full, they may be a greater candidate to actually go into your higher, higher pricing program. And so you can actually, for example, if they pay $997, you can deduct the $997 investment from the $5997, and now you can base their payment off of $5,000, not $5,997. So that's somebody that you can upsell into your coaching program that may be ready for a higher level and still get access to the actual course. That is the piece that I want you to understand. Um, this is the opportunity to follow up with warm leads, right? Warm leads, because remember, you've been promoting since week four, week five, week six, and week seven. So nine times out of 10, you probably have people that's coming into your pipeline. You have, probably have people that's getting on your calendar. This is a perfect opportunity to follow up with the warm leads and say, hey, we just closed the cart on our course XYZ but we've opened enrollment for our high level mentorship program. Um, and I wanted to talk to you because you are a great fit. That's where those additional five sales are going to come from you guys. That's because you're going to close 11 from your, your webinar and your cart open, but those additional five, some of those can come from the webinar, but you can also follow up with warm leads. Does that make sense? I hope I'm helping somebody. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, so we do, um, so these cart open bonuses, I post these bonuses in the group. So I'll even post, hey, cart closes in 48 hours. I'll post the next day, cart closes in 24 hours. And I'll post the final day, cart closed today, period, point blank, all right? Um, and then in the debrief, uh, I know we talked about this a little bit in the challenge class, but I definitely wanted to go over it here as well. One of the things that we do is we, we put the date of the debrief and the name of the actual of the offer or the, uh, I'm sorry, hey, this is about to kill me. Um, the name of the, like the launch, right? Um, what warm-up activities did you do? Um, was it a lead magnet? Was it, um, you know, the Facebook Live, the Clubhouse? So what, what strategies did you, did you use to warm up your audience? Um, how many webinars did you do? Sometimes when I do a challenge um, or video series, I'll do two webinars. I'll do a webinar on Friday and I'll do an encore on Monday or Tuesday. Um, for those people that wasn't able to do the live webinar, I will turn around and do it again on Monday and Tuesday to get more sales. And you'd be surprised you can get more sales um, and invite more people. Um, so I write, it, I write down the, the webinar date, the webinar time, uh, total revenue generated, right? Now, here's the difference. You want to track how much cash was collected. So anyone that paid in full and anyone on the payment plans that actually went through your bank account, then you want to calculate the total sales. So total sales is if I've got four payments by 2997, um, the revenue is the first payment of $297, then the sales is 1188. So you want to track what the total sales is so that you can see if you have, uh, you, you did a 10K or 20K launch, even though you only collected $5,000 in cash, right? That's the difference. So when these people telling you they're running a six-figure business, is it cash or is it sales? You got to ask the questions. Um, and then how many payment plans do you have and how many pay in full do you have? How many VIP payment plans, if you have a VIP play, um, VIP payment, or you could, you know, I have a mentorship upsell. So how many people did an upsell pay in full or payment plan? 
Um, if you want to, you can track sales through Stripe, sales through PayPal, um, how much sales is collected through PayPal, and then what's projected to come in the next eight weeks to 12 weeks, right? And then how many total new customers do you have? Um, the launch list is actually how many people opted in for your challenge, how many people opted in for your workshop, how many people opted in for your three-part video series. That is what you call a launch list. Um, so you want that list to grow every single time. So if you ever hear someone say something about a launch list, list um, that is a launch list. So um, I had it on here earlier somewhere. It's in this one. So payment gateways is Stripe. PayPal, pay funnels, or pay kickstart. I use Infusionsoft for my payments, but it costs a million bucks. <laughs> um, but I think Keep does offer it, like order forms or something like that. But pay fun pay funnels, I think it's pay funnels like $25 a month. Pay funnels is $25 a month. So that's what we do to debrief to make sure um, um how many people opted in uh, for your free gift. Um, you want to know that as well. If you had any expenses, did you pay for ads? Um, and then you have to subtract expenses from your revenue to, to determine what your cash profit is. And then the total projected profit um, from your, your launch. And then um, the offer breakdown, you can look at how many sales calls you had, how many you closed, what percentage of sales calls did you close? How many people are on a payment plan? Woo! Everybody take a deep breath. And then you celebrate yourself. That was a lot. We yes, Liam, that was a lot. 